team of Deakin University researchers have founded the Food Mood Centre to explore how the food we consume may influence our brain, mood and mental health. Our friends at GMHBA have told us about the exciting research taking place and we thought we have to come and have a look. Felice Jacker is leading the charge when it comes to this groundbreaking research and she's going to chat to us about exactly how we're just at the tip of the iceberg in understanding how food and what we eat can affect our mental health. We wanted to provide the general public with a really um, a decent evidence-based portal for, for finding out about nutrition and its link to mental and brain health. So I was really interested to see that whilst in the broader field of medicine there was a very extensive evidence base about the importance of nutrition to health, but there was nothing like that in, in mental health. So I decided to do my PhD looking at that. And so basically what I did was collected survey data from this large population based survey of women in this area. We know that it's very representative of the wider Australian population. And we looked in detail at their diets, their habitual diets. Okay, so what do you eat? And then of course we also had very good information on their mental health. And then we also looked at data about other really important variables that could explain both diet and mental health. And we showed for the first time that the quality of women's diets was very clearly linked to whether or not they had uh, major depression or anxiety disorders. We now have data from Norway and Spain and China and Japan and Australia and Britain and Very different and the UK. diets there as well. Very different diets. Every time we see that the quality of people's diets is linked to whether or not they have depression in particular, uh, but also their risk for it. Now this is important because in psychiatry we haven't had new treatments for depression for many decades. Poor diet is now the leading risk factor for early death across the globe. So a poor diet is one that doesn't have enough of these sorts of things. Yeah. So, you know, your whole grains, um, fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, the foods that we know are very high in fibre and nutrients and this is the fuel that drives your body. This forms the substrates of pretty much every single process that happens in your body. Well it's great to chat with you Felice and it looks like uh, if people could start to get a little bit more of this out there we'd all be a little bit happier. That's right, so every single meal just think how can I get some of this stuff into my tum? Or my children's. <laughs> yes. <laughs>